Hello, and welcome to 1994's Abe Watch. Hello, I'm Jason from Barefoot. I'll be in the front and in the back of this here picture. I love this movie. Do you love this movie? This whole picture takes place on Kim's first day at the beach. And Kim, keep up the good work. I think you're going to be a good at this. Be a good at this? I think you are going to be good at this. Don't let your dreams die, Kim. Babe Watch is directed by Buck Adams. Is that right? Yes. One of my favorite things is John Doe. Get out of my chair. You, Big D, check out the new... Get out of my chair. I wish every time I walked into Barefoot, someone was in my chair. Hey, Jason, I like the new pilot. Get out of my chair. Pretty cool. There's a character in this film, Moondog. Not the optical phenomenon, not the blind musician, not the Harmony Corinne fictional character. A different Moondog. I like him. He's a total 90s surfer, bro. Three minutes of credits with a jammin' song. Music provided by Rock Hard. Man, they rock hard. That's probably the only thing that means, right? Yeah, so that's it. This was a request. It was a cool request. All you at home watching, request something. If it's possible, we'll do it. All right. So this is 1994's Babe Watch. Listen, you seen the headlight for one? He's a big guy. His name's Dale. No, I've been in North Carolina. I haven't seen anybody. I'm Kim. Sean, how you doing? Hey. 
Moondog. You're the new rookie assigned to Point Magoo. Excellent. You're probably right what you said. He's probably going around with Terry right now. Or maybe he's on the beach. Yeah. Surf can get pretty nasty this time of year. The swell can throw up some gnarly 20-footers. But don't you worry. We'll, we'll keep an eye out on you. Make sure no punks trying to pick up on you. Kick him off the beach. Boom. Thanks, guys. It's really sweet of you. Listen, though. I need some pointers on how to get along with Dale. I mean, it's my first day, you know, I want to make a good impression. You, Big D, check out the new... Get out of my chair. Yo, Terry. Hey. Hi, you must be Ken. Hi. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, you okay? I heard you had a really rough morning. Dan must be throwing one of his little fits this morning, huh? <laughs> he slammed the door on the way in. Well, it's hard when a man learns he can't keep up with a woman's schedule. Don't worry, guys. It's history. Yo. Sean. Matt. Radios are still down. I can't find Barbie and Nancy. Find them. Their assignment is now your assignment. You got it, Dale. No problem. Well, if they're heading south, I'm going to head over to Lover's Cove. Anything to get me out of here. I'll talk to you later. You're Kim Reed. Yeah. Yeah. So you come through on the assignment readout. I thought you were half fish. <laughs> Amazing score. Thank you. I swim really fast. I know I won't look it. You look fine. Dale Conyers. Hi. How do you do? Yeah. You're shaking. You're telling me you're nervous. I'm really shy. I really wanted this position so bad. I've always wanted to be a lifeguard. And then you came in, you walked right by me. I thought you didn't like me already. No, I'm sorry. It's your first time here, and it's the one day I have an off mood. Oh, hey, let's go have a look around. Okay. Don't worry, you won't get bored. When swells up, Lover's Cove can be pretty hairy. Cheer up. Why are you so grumpy anyway? Yeah, how bad could it be this time? Oh, it's over with. But he's so cute. Well, you yeah. can have him. Okay. We're gonna patrol up the beach a little ways and keep an eye on those two surfers. Which two? So, Cal and some new friend of his, some Steve Newman race car driver. Steve Newman from the Indies? Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you two go take a break and I'll go check on them. Okay? Okay. 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 I don't even want you thinking about it. Oh, come on, man. Just one. All right, all right. We're so there. Yeah! We're already right back. Ow! Hey, dude, didn't you bring a board for me? Oh, I was going to, but I didn't want you to mess up the board, so I didn't. Plus, it's too dangerous, you know? Too dangerous? Dude, look how windy it is. You're drowned out there. So up here you can see all the action in the bay. Inside we got maps, directories, phone books, radios out, but who's binoculars? 
How do I adjust them? You just move the side piece right here. Oh, yeah. Is he all right? I told him not to go out there. Oh. I see Lover's Cove, and I see Terry, and she's with two guys. Who's it? Okay. Can't believe it. You know, Terry's having a lot of fun out there. I think. We could have some fun too, you know. What do you say? <laughs> oh my God. You are not going to believe this. Hey, Terry. Looks like good fishing today. We told your friend to be careful. Look at you. Hey, don't blame my cousin Cal. He might be a bonehead, but at least he tried to keep me out of the water. In my profession, you need an edge. What, do you work at a video store on Dollar Day? Oh, my name's Steve Newman. I'm a race car driver. I won the Le Mans Grand Prix twice. Maybe you know me from there? Yeah, race car driver. That figures. Quick on the curves, lays it on on the straightaway. So, what brings a high-performance guy like you to a little bit of a paradise? Well, there's a race at Triseca next week. It's not Formula One, but I figured it was time to try a new class. Well, try to stay in one piece. I don't want to waste a good ice bag and a bandage. Oh, hey, hey, hey! You won't believe what we just saw. Hope for your future? Oh, come on, Nancy. It was... Oh, Steve Newman! Whoa, Mr. Newman, dude, sir, I can't believe this, because the most anybody ever sees of you is your tailpipes. Steve Newman's the name, all right, and you're? Moondog. Just call me Moondog. Having a beautiful party later. Hope you all can come. Party! Yeah! Well, I guess they can make it. How about you, Terry? Well, it sounds like fun, but it depends on who's on evening watch. Evening uh, watch. Uh, looks like Dale's taking the rookie. Well, Steve, I don't want you hurting your head any more than you already have. And I can't trust Cal to look after you, so I'd better go so you don't hurt yourself. Well, I'm glad you're all going to be able to make it. I got to go, but I hope I'm going to see you at the party. Especially you, Terry. Bye. 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 Easy, dude. Bye. King of Speed. Steve Newman. Oh, on, Terry. <laughs> Get her there. Yeah. Hey, can we go check out your pool? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Beautiful house here. Have you lived here long? No, I'm strictly a month to month guy. But if I win at Triseca, I got another month here. Must be hard living on the edge all the time. What's the alternative? No, I'm just not used to it. I spent a whole year with a guy who thought <laughs> snails move too quick. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, why don't you let me take care of you tonight? Maybe. <laughs>
I was like at work surveying the terrain today. Here, why don't you make yourself useful? So, what should we drink to? How about to your quick recovery? Well, yeah, I guess I'm a fast healer. I think we should toast to your saving my life. Sure. I didn't want you to die before I met you. And now that you have? I want you to live more than ever. Hmm. Well, I'm alive for the moment at least. Well, maybe this is our moment. Why don't you set that glass down? And what? And what do you think? Babe Watch, 1994, a good year for music, a good year for adult films, spoofing off the television mainstream. So this one got kicked up or down, kicked down or up, depending on how you see it, to the PGs, mostly because of the bathing suits. Moving it to the PG category did allow me to allow some alcohol consumption on screen. Tell me Dan, played by Don Doe is not one of the coolest uh, performances in an adult film. He gives some great line deliveries, and he's dealing with some personal strife, okay? Not easy to act through. And I don't mean act in the movie. I mean act to Kim. It's her first day. He has to give a good impression. He has to show her the ropes, and he's got all this inner turmoil. So I think Dan is doing a good job. I'll see you next week.